Hi everybody, my name is Yuri from The Magic Sauce and as happy as I am to see you guys again, I've been having a bit of a painful experience, a very painful experience. I had a lot of pain in my side near the, near the floating ribs at the end, near the kidney, and I had lots of other symptoms. Went to the doctor and said, it looks like you might have kidney stones. If you've ever had kidney stones, or if you know somebody's had kidney stones, you should know that it is arguably one of the most painful things you can have period. Doctor referred me to a specialist, to a urologist, had a scan, we did some CT scans. He's now going to do two things. He is going to first find out what caused the kidney stones so we can prevent them in the future. And then of course they are going to remove them uh, in the hospital to make sure that they are out. Now of course this treatment is not going to be for free, so fortunately I have insurance. I got this insurance through an insurance broker. An insurance broker sits between you and the insurance companies and sells insurance packages, you know, to, to people. And the way I look at it, most brokers don't do much more than going to a bakery, asking people, saying, hey, you know what, I, I think you need a bit more bread. And somebody says, sure, I'll have some, how much is it? And the broker goes, it's three bucks, walks inside, gets it for two, sells it to you for three, that's how to make a bit of money. I went to this broker and I said, look, I'm a fairly busy guy, I travel a lot, and I'm willing to spend a little bit more for peace of mind. So can you advise me an insurance package or an insurance company that's pretty hassle-free that you know includes most of the basic things let's say I'm traveling somewhere in the middle of nowhere something happens I want to be able you know I want to make sure that I'm looked after I think at the end of the day that's that's what insurance should provide like a peace of mind so I was recommended in an insurance company I got a package I'm paying a couple of thousand dollars a year to make sure that it's all looked after that's exactly what I was looking for and as I said I was willing to pay a little bit of money for that if you think dealing with kidney stones was not painful enough, now you gotta deal with the insurance companies. So at this point, I need to navigate between the, the urologist, the doctor who's gonna be performing the treatment, the insurance broker, and then the, the insurer itself, the insurance company. And actually, I shouldn't even say insurance broker because by the time they sold you something, they are kind of useless. They kind of went, well, we sold you what we needed to sell. Goodbye. Good luck, here's a link, there's an app. So then I had to deal with uh, the insurance company, which of course will ask a bunch of questions to find out what's going on, when did it start? And most of this, it feels, I might be wrong, but it feels like, of course, they're trying to find ways to exclude me or exclude the patient from, from paying. So they'll find holes like, when did it start? Is it a pre-existing condition? Which in one way is fair, but it just, it just makes people feel like you really don't trust them. And I know there's a lot of people out there who I'm sure who abuse this system, but I don't think any paying customer, whatever you pay, should have to feel that way. At no point, at no point did anybody from the insurance company ask how I was doing or thank me for being a member or anything like that. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So after several emails and calls and back and forths, we finally got the okay and I'll be going for treatment on Friday. The treatment isn't anything special. It'll be a bit painful, but nothing too invasive. And uh, you know, I'll be back on my feet before you know it. To me, it was a great example of yeah, I'll tell you what it is. I've been reading a lot about insurance companies working on innovation, right? Insurance companies don't have the best of reputation. Sorry guys, you just really don't. There's some really cool new insurance companies coming up too. I'll put a link down here. You have a look at those. There's some really great stories of how you can insure different things, how there's better services and things like that. So there is a lot happening in the world. I'm however with a traditional insurance company, a big one. And even though I've heard that even they are innovating, you know, around, you know, they, they have drones, they have AI, they have big data, they even have blockchain, because you gotta have blockchain. A lot of people don't even know what it's for, but you gotta have blockchain. Attention all insurance companies, here is a free tip to help you grow your business. I think you should never forget about the really small things, the really small personal touches that will make your company stand out. Because at the end of the day, you're serving somebody, right? You have customers. And those customers should never be made to feel as if they're anything lesser if they're not important. If you say that your customers and your people are the most important thing, well then show that. You know, what is wrong with starting a session by saying, hey, you know what, how do we become better, better partners to the people who we, who we serve? How do we make sure that people know that we really care about them? How do we listen more to what they're looking for? How do we make them feel valued? So the next time you want to think about where to innovate, start there. Start with the really basic things that you do and the way you communicate and how you make your customers feel. Keep in mind, you know, frustration is a great driver for innovation. A lot of innovations, the start of those innovations were a frustration with somebody who went, why does it have to be like that? That doesn't make any sense. It is pissing me off and I'm going to do something about it. 
that was all we wanted to say. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and we will catch you here next time. All well with a healed kidney and all the good stuff. If you want anything from us, you have any questions, you want to see how I'm doing, drop us a line at hello at the magic sauce.com. If you want to do me a favor, rather than sending me massive baskets with fruits and send me cards that you love me and you know bottles of whiskey and stuff in hospital, you can hit that subscribe button below. Uh, with the, this is the 25th video. We have 201 subscribers. I want to get to about a thousand by Christmas and you can help me do that. So share a bit of that love, hit the subscribe button, at least give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment and we'll catch you here next time.